Well, a plumber in Texas has certainly been anxious to tell anyone who will listen that he is not selling vehicles to ISIS. Anna Werner has his story. It was just such a shock when it happened. I, I, you know, I didn't know what to say. When Houston area plumbing company owner Mark Oberholzer sold his truck to a local dealer in October of 2013, he had no idea it would wind up on Syria's front lines being used by Islamist fighters, with his plumbing company name and phone number still on the side. You know, it hurts my feelings that anyone could possibly think that we were connected to terrorism anyway. He says he was assured by the dealership it would remove his information before selling the truck. But there it was in the photo, which then went viral. That country is going down the toilet. But for the first time, they know who to call to unclog it. It was featured on the last episode of the Colbert Report, seen by millions of people last year. Since then, Oberholzer says he's had threats and thousands of phone calls like this one. What the f is going on? On your truck to ISIS? Who did that? That's not right. Here's how the truck left the country. Oberholzer sold the truck to an AutoNation dealership in Houston, which sent it to an auction near Dallas. Then a used car dealer, Maz Auto, bought the truck, the manager confirms, with the lettering still on it and advertised it for sale on their website. Manager Mohammed Al Kawam told us someone then called from an international phone number to buy it for use in Turkey. He wired the money and he arranged for shipping, and that was it. That the, the car ended up uh, ship, being shipped to Turkey. It's not known exactly how the truck then made its way from Mersin, Turkey, to Syria. They used to have Mark I Plumbing Inc. would come up on the internet, now it comes up Mark I Plumbing Inc. ISIS. Well, he's now suing the AutoNation dealership that sold the truck. They did not respond to requests for comment. But an executive told our CBS affiliate in Houston that they thought the auction company was removing the decals. Scott, the auction house couldn't confirm for us that they sold the truck. Anna Werner tonight. Anna, thanks very much.